Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Dummy Tech Talks. So, today we are going to be swapping wheels and tires out on a Tesla. So, everyone, if you don't know, every Tesla has a full battery on the bottom of the car. You cannot lift the vehicle without a certain tool that you have to purchase or it comes with the car itself. And they are pucks. We have to pop them off and or pop them on each time you want to lift the vehicle up anywhere. Because if you obviously you know if you ruin the battery on the car, that is the car. That is it. And then you're screwed. So we have to install these pucks, which is easy, easy peasy. You just pop them on underneath. There's little holes in the bottom where they go and arrows and whoop. You put the put the uh, jack on there, jack it up, take the tire off. And that's it. So we're gonna do that today. Yeah. Ready for it. Let's do this. Alright, and there you see is the puck. I already have one installed down here where it's supposed to go. There's literally nothing else but a hole in the bottom of the car where that puck goes into. And the rubber, the rubber seal keeps it staying up. And we're gonna do it. So we got the jack on the puck itself. So you know, you don't hurt the car. And you jack the car up. All right, so now you need a little, there's a hole right here for the hubcap, and you just need like an Allen key or something like that, a little hook tool, and it just pops off. And you just, boop, pops right off, no problem. Easy peasy, and then you gotta take five lug nuts off, which are 21 millimeter. And now we just take them off, change the tires. Make it easy. Huh? And just like that, you have a tireless test. All right, so now we're gonna use, put the new aftermarket wheel on here, right? But first, to make it work, you have to have uh, a certain o or a certain ring, which are hub-centric rings. So the the uh, hub on the vehicle itself is 6410, 64.10 millimeters. The hub on the rim aftermarket wheel, because it's not specific for this this vehicle, the hub, it's 72.60 millimeters. Easy peasy to do. You literally just take a ring. There's one for each wheel. Take it out, and it goes one way. It's concave like that so it slides on only one way and it fits super snug just like that like a snap on and then you uh, put the wheel on And there you have it, people, there you go. We're now we're gonna to torque it down to the specified torque. So now that the lug nuts are tight, we have to torque it. Now we gotta put the tire back on the ground or else you're just gonna spin the tire. Just like that. And we go around and we torque it down. All right, people. Now you just pop on the center cap for cosmetic purposes. Like right, that. Come a little, little uh, peel here. Woo. Then we have these babies. Lug nut caps. They're easy. You just slide them on, pop them on, and boop. Makes it pretty. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. We have it. Brand new wheels and tires aftermarket. They look fantastic. I have to say, it makes the car pop. These are also the same wheels that we did a graphene ceramic coat from Adams Adam Polishes, the advanced kit. We did that in another video. I'm sure you've seen it. If not, check it out. Uh, stay tuned though. We're going to have some more videos on the interior stuff. Like, 
Cool thing, by the way. You're ready. What are we doing? Uh, I want to give away. No, oh, true. Uh, yeah. I this stuff up here. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like that video, give us that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and the bell so you know when we release new content. And remember, share, share, share. It's the only way we get anywhere.